Oh, guys, we're starting this video off a little bit different. We're gonna be doing a good deed for the start of this video. My dad has no idea I'm gonna do this, but he's got his whole yard out here around his barn. Uh, looks like it hasn't been mowed in probably three weeks. It's getting pretty overgrown. So what we're actually gonna do is mow all of the yard here. This real, real tall stuff back here is actually alfalfa, but we're gonna mow all the yard all around here all the yard on the other side of the drive. And then I'm also gonna mow everything up by the front yard up there. And then I'll show you everything when it's all done. It's probably gonna take me a couple hours to get everything, but let's get to it and I'll show you the results when we're done. some mowing done yard was a little bit wet right here oh, there's always still more stuff to do but I think we got a pretty darn good amount of the work around here in terms of mowing done so he won't have to worry about that when he comes over here tomorrow because I'm sure he knows that it needs mowed and he's probably thinking I do not want to have to mow this freaking lawn it looks much better we did pretty much everything that he regularly mows up around the barn so we got that done I got to go upload a video go back home help her and take care of some things and then we'll catch you guys at the next part of the video guys it is the next day we're actually just arriving over to Jeshua's place we're gonna be working on his second gen with him today he had essentially a major timing not a timing cover leak uh, a uh, tappet cover leak therefore we are going to try to help him with his tappet cover leak. He helped us with lining up bolts and dropping turbos in for the compound turbo kit and I told him that I would be helping him with his tappet cover install just in case he has any issues that require two people I would be there to help him out. So we're over here right now. Um, I told him that I would be here all day if he needed me to. So that's what we're doing right now. I don't know how much video I'm going to get of this. I might do a little bit before and a little bit if we finish it or where we get on it. In terms of the overall video like start to finish check it out at TSN Outdoors on YouTube, that's his channel, and he's gonna be posting videos on that uh, series and what all it took to get it done, and explanation of what happened, ups and downs, all that other stuff. If you wanna get entered to win this OBS 73 plus $5,000 cash, right now every $1 is gonna be 20 entries to win, but that deal is ending in a few days, so if you haven't done so yet, head on over to lmpgear.com, buy anything you see on the site that you like, and check out, and you're automatically entered to win this truck, plus $5,000 cash. Don't waste any time. Here we are. You were talking Have about you started having... it yet? Yeah, yeah. Okay. You're talking about having some leaking issues with the tappa cover. Yeah. Okay. Well, Here we are. There's the tappa cover. After well, what's left of a it? A couple hours of trying to pull that um, timing gear loose, we got the pump out, and we are ready to begin replacing the tappa cover. Probably should clean it up first. So. Yeah, a lot. You think we should clean it up before we remove it? Well, so we don't get anything in the engine. I mean. I would definitely clean out everything above that could fall down. Yeah. Just to, and we don't want know. anything inside of there. No. Yeah, I'd, I'd block that up with some towel or something, too. Okay. So yeah. If that's where he's at right now. This is a progress. Like I said, if you want to see the full, like, ins and outs of what he's having to do, it'll be on his channel. But, um, P-Pump just came off. Okay. New tap of cover going on. Next day here, we did get some progress on Jeshua's truck history, actually quite a bit of progress. I didn't do like a ton, except for assisting with things where four hands were just a little more helpful than two. However, we're gonna be working on some stuff with the OBS Ford. That giveaway is live, by the way, so if you wanna to enter to win that truck, only a few days left for 20 centuries, every $1, 20 entries to win. We also have an exhaust tip for that truck because, well, 
It's got an axle dump setup, but there's no tip on it. Not that it has to have one, but why not? And we also have a ton of new gear. So I don't know how many of you guys have seen the website, but Reagan has gone absolutely insane with the designing of the website, setting things up, looks so much cleaner, editing photos, reprogramming a lot of the website, and it's just awesome. Here's one of our new hats, real tree edge with the blaze orange on the back, with the leather branded logo in the corner, just so sweet. We've got a whole bunch of new gear we're gonna show you guys. The website is popping with new stuff. I'm so excited about that. Um, I'm not sure what all we got, uh, but I do know that Reagan has been putting so much work into that website design and new products. And guys, I used to do all that stuff. I don't, I haven't touched that website in probably a year now. Reagan in the last couple months has been doing all of the work on the website, like all of it. I did have some other help that was trying to assist with the website which didn't really go very well, but Reagan took over and she's like, I'm gonna do this, I'm good at graphic design, I'm good at website programming stuff, I can freaking make this website sick, and she has been doing such a great job with that. Reagan, when you see this, you're awesome. But anyway, so let's get into putting the exhaust tip on the Ford, and then we're gonna be shooting some ads with that truck here um, in a little bit, but we're gonna be putting the exhaust tip on and then showing you guys some of these new products. Luckily, this is gonna be pretty freaking easy because the type of exhaust they put on this is an axle dump exhaust specifically, so there's not like a big build out spot on the end here to accept a four inch exhaust. We'll make my job here much easier. Just making sure it's settled in there as high as it needs to be. She good. There we go. That is a big old eight inch exhaust tip on the Ford. It actually looks pretty freaking good. Can't really see it though unless you're back behind the truck. But uh, it looks pretty good. I mean, even from the side, you can't see it like super well, but it's good. Let's start it up. One of the new coveralls, I've had a lot of people asking about like sizing and stuff. Let me show you a couple quick features and talk about sizing. I'm about, what do you say, 5'11", 180, 185 pounds, trying to help you guys relate to sizing. I wear a 44 regular in this particular one. Does it go by 44 chest or 44 I waist? So. I think the way we did the measurement was we measured around my chest and then we went like two inches bigger or something. Yeah, if you're wanting room for a Yes, yeah, so we went like just so just jackets. under my, yeah, we went just under my armpits around measured and whatever that measurement came out to plus two inches is what we went. And like sizing, look at my hands. The sleeves don't shorten up on me. It's about perfect. If I really wanted to, I could put a hoodie on under this. We've got these right here. These are our heavy duty ones. I'm wearing the considered the light duty. When I say light duty, they're freaking durables, crap. I'm just letting you know like, the supposed to be flammable. Well, flame resistant, not flammable. <laughs> not flammable, yeah. flame resistant. Yeah, so Sorry. these are supposed to be like flame resistant, super tear resistant, like heavy freaking duty. Yeah, like if you're like in extreme situations with a lot of torching, a lot of heat, all that stuff. Welding. Uh, you welding, all that. You want to go with something like this. Now let me show you something else. These are considered the light duty ones. We only put light duty versus heavy duty just so you know that there's a difference. These are still heavy duty. You know, they're just called the light duty because we have two options and I want to show you the difference. It's just kind of like a titling thing, just to kind of let you know that there are some differences, not just a price difference. But for example, this. This has a front pocket, right? But it's also got a pocket opening right here so you can get to your jeans beneath your shop suit. Because no, something I hate more than anything is when I'm out working and I'm like, crap, I put my freaking wallet on the inside of my suit. I have to take my suit off and get on. Well, I don't have to do that. You can literally just reach in here, put your phone inside your jeans pocket just like you normally would. Or if I'm like, oh, I forgot my wallet. There it is. You can reach right in on both sides and get into your jeans pockets. It's actually, it's a feature that you might not think is that big of a deal, but it's actually really, really nice. Because I was just doing that a second ago. I was like, my freaking phone. And then I like reach in, I'm like, wait, I can grab my phone. I'm like, aha, it's got a double pocket. One to get to your jeans. And the one just like normal, the just to get into the shop coveralls, there's like normal pockets. Other than this feature, we can get into your jeans through the suit without having to take it off. You've got pockets in here for your wrenches. You've of course got your back pockets. You've got your 
front pockets up here. And of course these come off super easily. You can probably take them off with your shoes on. It's, I mean, there's plenty of leg room. They're pretty baggy down here for that reason. Here's a, one of our new shirts. This is the Million Miles and Counting. It's got a picture of a 12 valve engine on there. Reagan actually traced that entire engine beginning to end. What did it take you, like three days on that one design? Longer than that, like a week. Yeah, it was a long time. So she spent a lot of, she drew every single line, on, like every single freaking line on this freaking engine. So you guys should go buy one just for that. Coffee mugs, right? Or just like a, what do you call these? Yeah, it's an insulated mug. Yeah, it's an insulated mug. It's got the open and closable top on it. Is this just kind of like a drink cooler? Just yeah, like a heavy duty drink a, cooler? Yeah, that's called a slim uh, drink holder. Yeah, so, so it's what, only for slim cans. So it'll do like what, White Claws, Trulies, any of those like smaller, you yeah. know, cans. Smaller diameter cans. Yeah, we do have other koozies as well. Water bottle or whatever you want to put in it. It's a pretty large water bottle. Yeah, it's, um, it's pretty big, pretty high quality. But yeah, just a quick little show off of the merch, new caps. Check that out. Nice stuff. If you guys want to check this stuff out, there's a, there's a whole bunch more stuff. I, I want some socks. We got some new socks in there. We're still waiting for my socks to come in. We've got new socks, new cups and tumblers and mugs and shop coveralls and all kinds of stuff. Reagan's trying to put everything known to man that our audience might be interested in on that store. So yeah, we want to try to be more than just like, hey, we give away trucks and we sell t-shirts. You know what I mean? We're trying to make the brand have more than just like super generic we sell hats hoodies and shirts you know what i mean and stickers or we sell air fresheners like we want it to be more than just like super super boring like cheap crap which is why we're doing like more stuff you actually use yeah stuff that you guys would use and like stuff that you guys might be like i'd like to buy a set of those just because i want some like shop coveralls i've got two sets this kind of stuff you need to go water bottles or mugs or coolers or whatever i don't know you guys get the idea we're trying to offer more than just like generic crap that everybody sells. Yeah, still working on that. Reagan's been doing an awesome job. Thank you, Reagan. Got that exhaust tip put on, got the truck started up and warming up here. I actually like how it sits. I mean, like, you can see it from the side, but not like a lot, you know what I mean? It's like kind of discreet. But if you're looking for it with the lift kit, you can see it. I like it, I like it. And I just washed the entire truck again. This is the second time I've washed this truck in 24 hours. It's getting kind of spoiled, uh, but you know, it, it needs to look good. But 20X entries do end on May 20th, so if you haven't done so yet, I'm telling you, you really do want this truck. Now, Reagan and I are gonna go film some shots here for some of our marketing videos, so we might insert some of those here at the beginning or the end, or maybe right in here. If you guys wanna see those, if they turn out the way we're hoping they will, we're gonna do that though, and then we're gonna get on back over here. Say hello to our 24th diesel truck giveaway, where we're giving you the chance to win this 9673 Power Stroke plus $5,000 cash. And for the first week, every $1 is gonna be 20 entries towards winning this truck plus five grand. So if you haven't done so yet, head on over to lmpgear.com, buy anything on the store, and as soon as you check out, you're automatically entered to win. Good luck. productive don't you think yeah he went with us helped us film some ads not really he just he has to go with us we just put him in the, we just put him in the truck to give us something else to smile and laugh about you know yeah, it's hard to be mad when you've got this guy freaking excited all the time he just likes the fuzzy thing on your camera yeah he just likes my camera <laughs> he sees a fuzzy wind mic on my camera and he thinks it's the coolest thing <laughs> Look, he'll try to grab it. Watch. <laughs> he just no, I'm just it. excited. Uh, we did film a couple. I think they're gonna turn out pretty good. Pretty good ads. Pretty, pretty good marketing pieces there. So pretty excited about that. I think we're gonna end this video out right here. I'm telling you. What do you say, Reagan? The barge. The barge? No, I thought you said the boat is passing. <laughs>
The boat is passing. I'm gonna go uh, work with Jeshua later this afternoon, but I think I've got enough content now to where this video is gonna be a decent length, and if I go film with him, I'm gonna get like another 10, 15 minutes of footage probably tonight. The video is gonna turn into like a small movie. If I, if I make it too much longer than this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Remember to enter to win this truck plus five grand by placing an order at lmpgear.com. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.